来喽。G'day guys, welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm Sampy. Lurchy, how are ya? Right, and of course we got Mr. Blues in the back as What's always. Ah. Court closure today, Lurchy. Hey. We are going to be trying a uh, Margaret River Cab Merlot from 2012 from the very, very popular Woody Nook Winery. Woody Nook, I like Woody Nook. Woody Nook is great, mate. And uh, I've done a couple of little written reviews because I've tried a couple at night and just sort of trying to do my written trying out my skills at writing about wine right. on the Facebook page. So if you haven't liked on Facebook, come and check it out. You can see my little blurbs every once in a while. We have it, it's called Tonight's Victim. So we do try to kill one every once in a while. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these guys, so I've done a one or two Woody Nook uh, written reviews on the web page already. And uh, consistently people are coming up saying, uh, leaving comments saying how Woody Nook's their favorite winery. So uh, this should be uh, pretty yummy. Founded in 1982, Woody Nook has 37 acres of vines nestled in the Margaret River region of Western Australia. The first vines were planted in 1982 and Woody Nook completed its first vintage in 1987. The past 10 years have seen new owners, the expansion of the vineyard, the addition of a new alfresco dining area for the Nookery Cafe and the completion of a new winery building. In spite of all these additions, Woody Nook remains a genuine boutique winery, producing only 8,000 cases annually. Woody Nook is family owned and run, unpretentious and small, but proud of the critical acclaim winemaker and viticulturist Neil Gallagher consistently receives. Set against the backdrop of majestic Marion Jarrah Forest, from which the name Woody Nook is derived, the cellar door and gift shop building is rustic and quaint, and welcomes visitors as groups or individuals. Well, yeah, let's check it out. So what have we got? Margaret River 2011 Cab Merlot. Right, yeah, it's... Uh... It's not murky at all, but it's not super shiny shiny, is it? It's uh, got a nice... You can see through it a little bit, but not much. That's probably the Merlot edge to it. Yeah, it could be, could be. What's the mix on it? 80% Cabernet and 20% Merlot. That's that's fair call. So what, what's that tell you? It's probably going to be... Um... Well, you're going to get the, the... You're going to get the intensity of the Cabernet. Yep. And you're going to get the smoothness of the Merlot. Yep. Just that little touch, just to take the edge off. It's telling me that it's a big Cabernet. As usually they are in Margaret River. Yep. Um, and the best best Cabernet makers in Margaret River produce these really intense, long-lived Cabernets that just go forever. Yeah, well, Margaret River really is known for its Cabernets, isn't it? So it's uh, like Barossa with its Shiraz and Clay Valley with its Riesling. And so it's probably really necessary to, to uh, probably balance this out with a bit of Merlot. So yeah, let's course. have a look. Well, the legs are nice and chunky. Uh, uh, I'm thinking 14 and a half straight away. Uh, I'll probably say 14. Look, who are you going to back? Back him. That'd be right. Pick the bloody usual winner. 14.5. There you go. Oh, boom. Well done. All right, so yeah, it looks lovely. It's got nice legs. Let's have a smell. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I like Cabernet, bro. Well, that sounds great. You know it? you got something when you got that. There's, um,. But you can really get that Merlot in there as well, isn't it? It's, mm. uh, it's, it's really smoothed out. It smells, it it smells like it's really well balanced. <sighs> yeah, dark, canty. How intense is that? It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, like a really full on black currant. Yeah, almost like you know, the smell of crushed ants. Almost, yeah. almost. And a big bull ants. Mm, yeah, and it's got that a nice. Do you like how that, when you, you have a, you inhale it and it changes from start to finish. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it changes, it's, it's telling me it's, the complexity is really good winemaking. Just on that very last thing, you know, it's, it's not definitely not overpowering, but I can just find a hint of like a petrol sort of uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that. Nose. I'm hearing you there. All right, let's have a taste. Let's have a taste of that. See what we look at so many fans. Mm, oh wow, that's uh, that's really interesting. I'm glad there's a bit of Merlot in that because if that was all Cabernet, my face would be out here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, and the Merlot just gives a. It's like uh, 
the Merlot's the pretty girl that's come to the party. You got a you got a big party happening here at the moment. <laughs> Merlot comes in like he's the hot chick that suddenly uh, takes all your attention. Mmm, yeah, that's uh, that is going to be one. You know what? You could put that in your cellar for 20 years. That's got everything sitting there, waiting to go. Even for a Cab Merlot, which don't usually go that long. It's that's just that's really really yummy. That's um, we've been on the good stuff today. Yeah, 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 it's been a good day. Uh, it's um, you know, like I say, the Cabernet is really the you know, quite as the, uh, the stringent tanniny sort of thing. But that uh, Merlot just just rounds it off perfectly. It's such a well structured creature, isn't it? It's, uh, it's delicious. Well done. Yeah, no, good stuff. Every bit speechless. Yeah, I'm. I sort of just want to. I'm just thinking from the moment I take a sip of it till even now, it's just a, it's changing in my mouth, and the, the flavour of it just keeps going. It's just so intense and complex. I can't put words to it. It just ticks all these boxes. You know, you've got your yeah, yeah, the, the 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 grown up sort of cabernet characteristics, which can be a bit challenging. Can I just say how lucky we are in Australia with our wines, let alone WA, let alone having Margaret River down south. Geograph, or oh, even Swan Valley, you know. Swan, yeah. Go to come to WA, you guys, and check out our wine regions because they're bloody good. So, uh, rate it. What are you going to give that? How many nods, Mr. Blues? Ooh, a few nods. That was about, that was about <laughs> six. Mm. <laughs> That's a big one. How about you? Cabman? Man, I'm in love with this one. I really am. Um, I don't normally go. I'm going to give that a 9.5. 9.5. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Cabernets, especially Margaret River Cabernets. For one as well made as this, I've just got to go up there for it. I guess it's like um, I hear, I listen to a lot of movie review podcasts, and then one of the things I talk about in making movies is: is there anything that movie could be improved by? You know, if it was improved by a better actor or a better yep. this that. I can't. Understand. I couldn't. The only thing you can do to improve that improve. is to put it down for five years, and it'll be better. Let's see what happens. Yeah, no, nine, easy nine. That's uh, lovely stuff. So yeah, well done, Woody Nook. It's uh, once again, I said it earlier. I can see why you've got so many fans because it's uh, awesome, awesome stuff. So that's yeah. a that's a point of cash out from me. Hang on now, let me just have a quick look at my notes. Let me know how much it costs. What would I pay for it? What would you pay for that? I just throw my credit card on the table and say, I oh, want one. <laughs> that's what I do. $32. $32 for that? Yeah, that's an absolute steal, you guys. So, uh, yeah. You're bullshitting me. No, 32 bucks. That's that's if you go, to, obviously, to the webpage. Maybe if you go to uh, <clears throat> some of your... I, well, I don't know if you can get it in. I'm gobsmacked. Like that, but it's, yeah, that's a it. $60 wine every day of the week. Easy, 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 easy. If you bought that in a restaurant, which, you know, you well, don't, don't worry about a restaurant. But you'd pay 100 bucks for that in the restaurant and be quite uh, happy when it came out. Right? Blind tasting, 60 70 every day of the week. Easy, easy. All right, I think we've uh, yammered on, on enough about these guys, so uh, do it. Really, really good stuff. Till next time, this has been Bogan's Guide to Wine. Catch you later. G'day guys, just to let you know, we've hooked up with the folks at winedirect.com.au to bring you the Bogan's Dozen. We've gone through their uh, whole selection of wines to pick out two six packs that we think particularly stand out and kick a bit of ass. Now one's called the Arterial Blood Box and the other one's called the Fully Six Pack. Now uh, if you pop over to winedirect.com.au forward slash Bogan, you'll get a link directly to the page. If you buy some wine, you're going to be supporting the show, which we really appreciate. So uh, pop over there, winedirect.com.au forward slash bogan. Get it in ya.